اوزبلرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناظرین میں امتیاز شاہد آپ سے مخاطب ہوں آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں میرا ڈیجیٹل چینل ناظرین آج میں آپ کو سولہ نومبر دو ہزار تیئیس سے لے کر تیس نومبر دو ہزار تیئیس کے انٹرنیشنل کرنٹ افیئرس دے رہا ہوں تو اسٹارٹ کرتے ہیں ان نومبر ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری وراٹ کوہلی بیکیم فرسٹ بیٹر ان دا ورلڈ ٹو اسکور ففٹی او ڈی آئی سینچریز بریکنگ آئکنک سچن ٹنڈولکر ریکارڈ آف فورٹی نائن سینچریز نیکسٹ ان نومبر ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری سرجنس ان نیو یارک پرفارم دا فرسٹ ایور ہول آئی ٹرانسپلانٹ ان اومین این اکمپلشمنٹ بینگ ہیلڈ ایز اے بریک تھرو ایون دو دا پیشنٹ ہیز ناٹ ریگین سائٹ ان دا آئی نیکسٹ یو ایس سرجنس ہیز سکسیزفلی پرفارم دی ورلڈ فرسٹ ٹرانسپلانٹ آف این اینٹائر ہیومن آئی آل دو کوشن ڈیٹ اٹ ریمینس ان نون از دی پیشنٹ آرون جیمس ول ایور بی ایبل ٹو سی ود ہز نیو لیفٹ آئی نیکسٹ ان نومبر ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری اسپیس ایکس لانچ دا ٹرانسپورٹر نائن لانچ کمپلیکس ایس ایل سی فور ای ایڈ وینڈن برگ اسپیس فور اسپیس ڈیٹس مین وی ایس ایف بی اسپیس ایکس از این امیرکن اسپیس کرافٹ کمپنی فاؤنڈیڈ بائی ایلون مسک نیکسٹ آن ففٹین نومبر ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری یونائٹیڈ اسٹیٹس پریزیڈنٹ جوائے بائیڈن اپوائنٹیڈ این انڈین امیرکن لیڈی شکنتلا ایل بھایا ایز اے ممبر آف دی ایڈمنسٹریٹو کانفرنس آف دی یونائٹیڈ اسٹیٹس کونسل نیکسٹ آن ففٹین نومبر ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری کیمبرج ڈکشنری اناؤنسڈ ایٹ اٹ ہیز ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری ورلڈ آف دا ایئر از ہیلوسینیٹ اوئنگ ٹو دا پاپولرٹی آف لارج لینگویج ماڈلس ایل ایل ایمس لائک چیٹ جی پی وچ سم ٹائم پروڈیوس ایرونس انفارمیشن دی ڈکشنری آلسو پبلشڈ این ایلسٹریٹڈ سائٹ ایکسپلیننگ دی ٹرم سینگ وین این آرٹیفیشیل انٹیلیجنس ہیلوسینیٹس ان پروڈیوسز فالس انفارمیشن نیکسٹ ان نومبر The biggest prize in Punjabi literature, the Han Prize, announced its first female winner, Dipti Baputa, from among the three finalists, including Jamil Ahmed, Paul, and Balijit. Next, the Han Prize is an annual prize awarded by Canada India Education Society for Excellence in Punjabi Fiction. The prize is given to the books of fiction written in either Gurmukhi or Shamukhi script of Punjabi. The prize is named after Canadian Punjabi businessman Burj Singh Dhan. Next, on 16th November 2023, Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has won Parliament's begging for a new term in office after striking a controversial deal with Catalan separatists. Next, Sanchez, who hands the Spanish Soci- Socialist Workers Party, won 179 votes in favor with 171 against and no abstentions. Next, on 17th November 2023, United Arab Emirates inaugurated the world's largest single-site solar power plant, the 2 gigawatt Al-Dafra Solar Photovoltaic Independent Power Project. Next, authorities in India's most populous state of Uttar Pradesh have banned the distribution and sale of halal certified products. including dairy, garments, and medicines, saying it was illegal. Next, bakery products, sugar, edible oil, and other products which were labeled as halal certified by companies manufacturing them would be banned from distribution and sale, a state government notification said on 18th November 2023. Next, Miss Universe 2023 was the 72nd Miss Universe began held at the Gymnasio Nacional Jose Adolfo Pinada in San Salvador, El Salvador, on 18 November 2023. Shanice uh, Palacios has won the Miss Universe began 2023. She is the first Nicaraguan to win Miss Universe and the first to win one of the big four international beauty pageants. Next, in the runoff election on 19 November 2023, Argentinians elected right-wing populist Javier Milley, age 53, as Argentina's new president. Next, in November 2023, the People's Bank of China and the Saudi Central Bank recently signed a local currency swap agreement worth 50 billion yuan, that means $6.93 billion or $26 billion 
so the reals next the swap agreement will be valid for three years and can be extended by mutual agreement next women's entrepreneurship day observed annually on november 19th is a global initiative spearheaded by the women's entrepreneurship day organization wedo next the 2023 icc men's cricket world cup was the 13th edition of the cricket world cup a quadrennial one day international odi cricket tournament contested by men's national teams and organized by the international cricket council icc next 10 national teams participated all had to qualify for the tournament through the 2023 cricket world cup qualification process india afghanistan australia bangladesh england new zealand pakistan and south africa qualified via the icc cricket world cup super league with the netherlands and sri lanka securing the final two places via the qualifier tournament in zimbabwe during june and july 2023 the west indies missed out on qualification for the first time in their history next the tournament of 2048 matches started on 5th october and concluded on 19th november 2023 next it was the first men's cricket world cup which india hosted solely the tournament took place in 10 different stadiums in 10 cities across the country next the final took place between india and australia at narendra modi stadium on 19th november 2023 with australia winning the title for the sixth time next in icc men's cricket world cup 2023 virat kohli was the player of the tournament and also scored the most run that's mean 765 runs next in icc men's cricket world cup 2023 mohammad shami was the leading wicket taker who took 24 wickets next world children's day is celebrated on 20th november to commemorate the declaration of the rights of the child by un general assembly on 20th november 1959 next the theme for world children's day for the year 2023 was for every child every right next the international day for the elimination of violence against women is observed annually on 25th november 2023 next the theme of 2023 international day for the elimination of violence against women was invest to prevent violence against women and girls next on 25th november 2023 veteran dutch anti-islamic politician gate wilders were to be the prime minister of netherlands eventually following by an election in which his party won the most seats next the 2023 davis cup was the 111th edition of the davis cup a tournament between national teams in men's tennis next the finals formerly known as world group is the highest level of davis group competition in 2023 it takes place from uh, 12th to 17th September 2023 group stage and from 21st to 26th November 2023 knockout stage next in 2023's Davis Cup Italy won the title defeating Australia in the final it was Italy's second Davis Cup title having previously won in 1976 next on 27 November 2023 Christopher Luxon was sworn in as New Zealand's Prime Minister next Virgin has become the first ever commercial company to fly without fossil based jet fuel. Next, the commercial transatlantic flight powered by entirely by sustainable aviation fuel SEF highlights the significant efforts to reduce carbon emissions in the aviation industry. Next, on 28th November 2023, the flight took off from Heathrow, London to JFK International Airport, New York, making it the world's first ever 100% sustainable aviation fuel transatlantic flight. The Expo 2030 World Fair will be held in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in another hosting victory for a Gulf country after Qatar put on football's World Cup 2022. Next, South Korea's Busan and Italy's Rome were also in the running to host the World Fair. A once every five year event that attracts millions of visitors and billions of dollars in investment. Next, Henry Kissinger, the former 56 years Secretary of State, 1973 to 1977, the seventh United States National Security Advisor, died on 29th November 2023 at his home in Connecticut.
Next, Kissinger was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize on 10 December 1973 for their work in negotiating the ceasefires contained in the Paris Peace Accords on ending the war and restoring peace in Vietnam. Next, <clears throat> thousands of artists have joined hands to sign a letter titled as We Cannot Be Silent from a collective that calls itself Musicians for Palestine demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. Next, in November 2023, Australian women's captain Mac Lening has announced her retirement from international cricket after winning seven World Cup titles during a 12-41 match career. Next, in 2023, the 28th session of the Conference of the Parties COP28 to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change UNSCCC will be held at Expo City, Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, UAE. The 2023 UN Climate Change Conference will convene from 30th November to 12 December 2023. Next, on 30th November 2023, at the opening ceremony, COP27 President Sami Shoukri, Foreign Minister of Egypt, handed off the gavel to COP28 President Sultan Al Jabbar, who is both the Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology for the UAE and the head of the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company A ADNOC. Next. In November 2023, Egypt, Qatar and USA mediated a ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas. Next. A recent report from the International Labour Organization ILO has revealed the alarming and fatal consequences of overworking leading to the death of nearly 3 million people annually worldwide. The study underscored the evolving role of employment as a major cause of death, particularly among men. Next, the ILO report points out that more than 8 lakh people succumb to death each year due to working beyond 55 hours per week. Other significant risks include exposure to gases and smoke, 4 lakh 50,000 deaths, 3 lakh 63,283, exposure to asbestos, uh, 2 lakh 9,481, silica 42,258, and uh, substances causing asthma, 29,641. Next. Diplomatic tensions flared on 27 November 2023 as British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak cancelled a meeting with Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis, sparking a diplomatic row over the status of the Parthenon sculptures housed at the British Museum. Next, the contested sculpture, also known as the Thin Marbles, have been at the centre of a long-standing dispute with Greece advocating for their pre-permanent return to Athens. Next, Karpman brief analysis shows that due to its colonial history, the UK is responsible for nearly twice as much global warming as previously thought. Next, previous analysis had put the UK's share of cumulative historical emissions at 3% of the global total, including carbon dioxide from fossil fuels cement, land use, land use chain, and forestry. This makes the UK the eighth largest contributor to current warming behind the number one, US, number two, China, number three, Russia, number four, Brazil, number five, Germany, number six, Indonesia, and its former colony, number seven, India. Next, according to Carmen Brees, new analysis, due to its colonial history, the UK is responsible for nearly twice as much warming as previously thought, some 5.1% of the global total. This bumps the UK up to fourth place in terms of its historical responsibility for climate change, still behind the US, China and Russia, but now ahead of India, Brazil and Germany. Next. Moreover, the UK's population are the second highest emitters on a per capita basis when accounting for emissions under colonial rule. Next, the 2024 ICC Men's T20 World Cup is scheduled to be the ninth edition of the T20 World Cup, a biannual 2020 international 
tournament contested by men's national teams and organized by International Cricket Council. Next, 2024 ICC Men's T20 World Cup is scheduled to be hosted by the West Indies and the United States from 4 June to 30 June 2024. Next, it will be the first ICC World Cup tournament to feature matchless played in the United States. The tournament will be contested by 20 teams, an expansion from 16 teams at the 2022 tournament and 55 matches will be played. Next, the third edition of the Red Sea International Film Festival is being hosted by Saudi Arabia on the eastern shore of the Red Sea. Next, the event started from 13 November and will be ended on 9 December 2023.